Record breaking temperatures are threatening bee populations in the southwest. Ashley Paredes has more on how beekeepers are protecting them in Arizona. If you look really close, you can see her tongue. Just like any living creature, bees can only tolerate so much heat, especially in Arizona, and record breaking conditions. This is sugar water. Uh, it's a food source, supplement food source, and then this is regular water. Studies have indicated extreme heat is leading to a decline in bees. That's why beekeeper Connie Moore is doing all she can to protect them. All of mine have screen bottom boards. It allows for lots of airflow. They'll use a gallon of water a day sometimes, if not more. Yeah, just trying to cool, and not consuming it, but cooling off the hive and, and all that stuff. She is the owner of Honey Hive Farms in Peoria, where right now she is taking some of her bigger colonies and making them smaller, placing them in shaded areas. We pulled bees off and basically made what we call nukes, a nucleus baby colony. Um, just to kind of help dissipate that heat, less bodies in that house. Unfortunately, even with precautions, the heat impacted a colony at her new farm, meaning they lost nearly 30,000 bees. She says even losing one is devastating. If they die off, we are in big trouble. That, that impacts our whole food system. Um, it, not just that, but, it, but they are beneficial because obviously they're the only ones that make honey. Um, honey is used not just for consumption, but it's also used for sometimes wound care. But there are things you can do to help. The best way to keep bees cool is to leave out a bucket of water for them and put it in the same location. That way they know where to go. It's also helpful if you use a floating device, place it inside the water. That way if they fall in, they're able to climb back out.